is you cannot, we have corrupt values in this capitalist system. I don't care how conscious we think we are. We're, our values are thoroughly corrupt. And we have to work to transform it. That's the process that I'm talking to you about. For example, capitalism has intrinsic within it, it has a value structure. One of the key tenets of capitalism is individualism, right? Individualism is a core component of capitalism. We're all infected with that. I don't care how conscious we think we are. We're all infected with that. And that's what I'm trying to tell you all, because in African culture, we don't believe in self-preservation. We, we believe in collective advancement. We don't believe in that. And it's all throughout this society, because America's a gang culture overall. It's, it was getting gang bang to get the land, and everything that they've done has been a gang bang effort. So it's consistent. It makes sense. Everything. The churches are gangs. Organizations are gangs. Everything functions with that kind of turf mentality. They're like, a principle is a value that you never compromise. Right? Like, I'm a socialist. I'm an anti-capitalist. I can't compromise that. I'm a pan-Africanist, which means I believe that Africa is primary as a part of our national liberation struggle to contribute to the world communist movement. That's what we believe. So I can't compromise on it like that. I can't say, well, we could have capitalism over here. I can't do that. That's a principle. I believe that. That one, because I write books. And so if you're interested in that, I write social justice novels. And I have one coming out called The Courage Equation. I just signed the publishing um, contract the other day so they can publish it. So that book, and um, I have another one called Find the Flower that Blossoms. This Courage Equation is a, it's a sequel to the first one, and it's, it's about everything we've talked about here today. Um, and I, you know, I get money from the books, and I use that money to finance our work. Like, you know, we're going to African Liberation Day in Oakland, here in, in three weeks. We, we got to pay to get down there. That's how I do this. That's how I get us down there and back. Because I do this work, uh, money I get from my book, that's how I pay for this stuff. Because, I, you know, one of the things that we want to do is we want people to commit class suicide. We want Class suicide is a good thing. Y'all know what class suicide is? What it is is like, if you have people who are, have formal education, people who are engineers, doctors, don't we want them to work for the people? Like, those are skills we need. So we want that. So we want them to do that. Like, if you have people who are um, wanting to engage in this work, you have to create some level of collective spirit. I don't care what you believe. You can believe in socialism. You can be anarchist. You can be whatever. You, you have to work with people to make it. You can't do it by yourself, right? Everybody agrees with that. If you can, if you believe you can do it by yourself, I'm going to ask you what the hell you're waiting for. Please do it. So the Illuminati stuff is huge. The conspiracy. Everybody's trying to destroy the black man. That's I hear that all the time. We're trying to destroy white people are trying to destroy us. I hear that every day. Now I know that everyday white people, even if they wanted to destroy us, don't have the power to do it. So I know that. But I can't just go to them and say that's you guys are stupid, that's not happening. <laughs> You know, so I have to listen to that over and over and do the things I'm talking to you about and build the relationship so that I can begin to have a conversation with them one day that says, you know what, the problem is the capitalist system is the system that is exploiting us and causing the problems for us. And it's causing a lot of problems for white working class white people too. So what we need to do is organize against this system and then that's the main thing. Um, but most of our work, of course, is, is focused on organizing African people for African liberation. So when I'm working with African folks, there are a lot of different ideologies that exist. You know, I've mentioned some of them, like the white man is the devil, you know. And so I, we have to take a tactical approach to getting people beyond that to understanding the capitalist system is the enemy. The, the, the white man on the street has no more power than you. He might have a, a more privilege than you, but he's not the one who controls the oppression that you're experiencing. 